I am Precious Ugweze. And in this video, we'll quickly look at uh, formation of equations from roots. So when we have a quadratic equation um, and the roots are given, how can you obtain that quadratic equation? That's what we want to look at now. All right, so to be able to find the, or to form an equation from the roots of that equation, first of all, recall that uh, we said that given a quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero, that uh, if we make the coefficient of x squared to be one, this implies that our x will have x squared plus b all over ax plus c all over c all over a all equal to zero okay so from here now we are going to try to form that uh, equation and how is it going to look recall that from when we formulated the sum and product of roots we saw that uh, the sum of roots a plus b is equal to minus b all over a okay so what it means is that from here my b over a is actually equal to negative root sorry negative alpha plus beta that's the sum of the roots where the roots are a and b and then we also establish that alpha beta which is the product of the roots is equal to c all over a um okay yeah this one there is no need for any subject formula so what does that mean uh, i can actually rewrite this as c over a is equal to alpha beta okay now take note of this one also you recall that ordinarily if you are given a quadratic or some quadratic roots and you are to find the equation what we will normally do let's take it that the roots are alpha and beta okay so what we will formally do is x minus alpha multiplying x minus beta okay so and then we'll equate it to zero and solve to generate the equation now but what we want to generate now is an approach that will make the formation of equation a lot easier instead of going to form these two brackets and then going through the process of expanding this bracket and then finding the equation you're looking for we can actually just uh, get that equation without passing through all this stress and that's what we want to get now and so what is it going to give us so now recall let's go back to this equation here okay so if we bring back this equation here now you will see that we'll have x squared plus b over ax and then plus c all over a all equal to zero but from here now which is like equation one we have gotten the value of b over a and so we can come here and make a substitution and what are we going to get if we substitute the value of b over a into this equation we are going to get x squared our b over a is negative alpha plus beta and then we'll have our x here then plus our c over a we have also gotten the value here as the alpha beta and that is equal to zero okay so what does this now mean so the implication is that if you are given the roots of any quadratic equation and you are to generate the equation all you need to do is just uh, write x squared minus the sum of the roots then times x plus the product of roots product of roots then everything is equal to zero okay so once you get this you have actually generated the equation you are looking for and this just saves you the stress of going through the expansion of this bracket and all of that okay and so we'll quickly take some examples to you know buttress what you have just gotten here okay so this is just the formula for finding the equation of any quadratic root
All right, so let's quickly look at some examples um, consigning the concept we have just introduced. Okay, so for example here we have find the quadratic equations whose roots are given below and we have about four examples here. I'm going to do two of them and then you will do as exercise the remaining two. So I'm going to take example one, uh, one A and example uh, C and then we'll do two also together. Then you are going to do as exercise the example B and that of D. Okay, so quickly let's start. Okay, so we have solution. Okay, so here in 1A we are given that uh, our roots are minus 1 and 8. That means our alpha is minus 1 and our beta is 8. And so the equation we are looking for is simply x squared minus alpha plus beta plus alpha beta all equal to zero and then alpha beta like i said are our roots and so if we make substitution here we are simply going to have x squared minus uh, alpha is minus one minus one plus eight is going to give us seven okay sorry there is x here so we'll have seven x and then we now have minus 1 times 8 is simply going to give us minus 8. And that is equal to 0. And this is uh, the required root. Very simple and straightforward. And so I am going to take example C now. Okay, C says that our roots are 3 over 4 and uh, half. Okay, so what do we do here? Also, we'll start by writing our equation. An equation is given as uh, the equation that will generate the quadratic equation we are looking for is x squared minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta all equal to zero. And so in this case, we will have x squared minus alpha beta. Alpha plus beta is going to be 3 all over 4 plus half all into x plus the same 3 over 4 times half and that's equal to 0 and so from here we are simply going to have so we are going to have minus uh, 3 over 4 plus half is going to give us we can quickly do that here 3 over 4 plus half that's for 3 plus 2 which is 5 all over 4 so we are going to have minus 5 over 4x and 3 over 4 times 1 over 2 is simply going to give us 3 over 8. And so that's going to give us here plus 3 all over 8 all equal to 0. And so now when you have your equation in this form where there are denominators, it is advisable to clear the denominators so that you can have a straight equation. And so to clear these denominators, we multiply every term here by the LCM of these uh, denominators. And so we multiply through by LCM. So the LCM here is 8. And so we are multiplying through by 8. And that is going to give us 8 times x squared is 8x squared. 8 multiplying 4 here is going to take away 4 and give us 2. 2 times 5 is uh, sorry okay so 2 times 5 will give us 10x 10x sorry and then 8 multiplying this will cancel 8 and so we'll have only 3 left and that is equal to 0 and this is the required equation okay so like I said I am just going to do only 2 of this so you are going to do the B and the D as exercise now let's quickly look at example two. <clears throat> example two says that if the roots of the equation, you are given an equation, and the roots of that equation is, uh, sorry, are b beta and beta minus one, and the equation is this. They're, they are now asking us to find the value of t. Okay, so let's quickly look at that. Okay, so we have 
example 2 3x squared plus 15x plus t is equal to 0 and the roots are so let me take the first alpha as um, the beta given and then the beta itself remember we represent alpha and beta as uh, as our two roots so the alpha which is the first root we have called the beta which is the first root they gave us and so the beta now which is the second root sorry for the abuse of symbols here is now given as beta minus one okay so and they are now asking us to find the value of t okay so recall that we said earlier that the sum of our roots is going to be equal to you know minus b all over a and our minus b over a here is going to give us uh, 15 all over 5 negative 15 over 3 sorry and that's equal to minus 5 now but our beta here is beta so that means we are going to have beta plus beta minus 1 this beta in this case here is this one and that's beta minus 1 that's the sum of the two roots and that is going to give us this negative 5 and so from here if we solve for beta we are going to get the value of beta so and that's going to give us that we are going to have 2 beta minus 1 is equal to negative 5 and so if we solve this we will have 2 beta is equal to this coming over here will give us negative 4 and so our beta is equal to uh, minus 2 okay now haven't gotten beta as minus 2 we will need to then uh, get to the value of t which is what we are looking for and so to get the value of t uh, we can see here that our t stands for the constant and we said that uh, uh, for us to get the constant we need to multiply the two roots and if we multiply the two roots we will get t and so what is the two roots that we are given the first root is half uh, sorry beta and the second root is beta minus one and that is equal to t however we have gotten beta to be minus two and so we'll have minus two into minus two minus one and that is equal to t so that means that our t is equal to minus two minus one is minus three and negative three times negative two will give us uh, six so assuming we were asked it means that uh, the equation actually given should have been 3x squared plus 15x plus 6 equal to 0. However, this is where we are supposed to stop to find the value of t. Okay, and that's where we are going to um, end this uh, video. And um, please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, comment, and share our videos. And then you can reach us on any of our handles, be it TikTok, email, um, on Facebook, and wherever to ask any question or even in the comment section. All right, so see you in our next video. Bye.